So what can happen only to us that we were waiting in the wrong line? It's like almost 10 a.m. and me with Gwen decided to explore the core of Vienna. Good morning guys, it's currently Sunday today, it's not really morning, it's like almost 10 a.m. And me with Gwen decided to explore the core of Vienna. Why we are in Vienna, you will find out if you will watch our previous two videos, so you can understand better why we are here. But right now we are going to explore the core of this city, brilliant architecture here inside of the city but the other surroundings are nothing special it's just like any other city in the czech republic not really nice it's more like ugly but here <clears throat> in the core it's pretty amazing we are planning to visit national library national museum of nature yeah and some kind of churches join us on our adventure guys and enjoy this video This time we are looking for our breakfast. We are looking for some cafes or restaurants so we can take our breakfast. But this Vienna city is quite different from Czech Republic. I would say like they have lots of buildings, architectures. You know, Czech is very colorful, but the vibes here in Vienna is different. You can see lots of tourists as well here in Vienna, especially Asians. And I was able to see lots of Filipinos, Koreans. As you can see, their architecture is here, really nice. Rolex. I'm not sure what brand is that. It's a brand of watches. Watches? Yeah. yeah so there's also a big, big brand of watches here in Vienna. It's a Rolex watch brand. And also here in Vienna, like no entire Europe you can really see um, a lot of architectures like Renaissance architectures Gothic and that um, arts or building architectures were prevalent in Europe way back then up until now it's still amazing even if the buildings are old so I'm really really surprised every time I <laughs> I'm away like visiting other countries their building architectures are just so nice What's also the funny thing about Europe is they do, they have this store, a this world store in Prague a lot actually, and you know it's it's funny for me. It's not funny. It's like it's amazing for me seeing these stores that it's it's like everywhere in Europe. It's not illegal. It's illegal here, <laughs> and compared to my country, the Philippines, even lotion, and they they are also selling lotion uh, made from that cigarettes, hand lotion perfume some and any kinds of products made out of cannabis that's fine you know and i love this door oh my god this is very very cute i really love this we are here in vienna it's called as matrix des Rorini. i'm not sure how to pronounce the the area here in europe i mean the language because it's german language it's very very nice store it's very cute and if you like like looking for if you want to bring or buy some flowers you can actually buy in this area look at their store it's very cute there's also this famous swarovski store it's it's a brand from bella hadid it's very nice look at that oh my gosh how amazing it is i'm not sure i guess there are real diamonds but but this store they are selling like um real real jewelries diamonds or necklace or um any kinds of jewelries and a lot of stores here in vienna a lot of brands as you can see they also have this nordsk sea for foods so we'll check it out kuba because i'm hungry look at him 
you brought my things. Nice, right? Seafoods, I think. Yeah. The city here in Vienna is bigger than in Prague, I would say. And they have lots of buildings. They're actually urbanized, like or very urbanized city. But for me, if we compare about the road signs and the roads, like things here, I would say Czech is like better. I love the roads there and how it works. Like everything is very organized. But I would say in Vienna, their transportation here is also very accessible. The ticket you can buy it inside the tram. But in Czech Republic, you can just pay by card, like by swiping and you're good to go <laughs> it's still nice though Dr. Jacobs is this your store baby? <laughs> just so annoying for me because today is very cold the autumn is I think it's already autumn and today is rainy since yesterday since Friday that's the reason why it's very cold. The dresses were not able to expose because I brought a lot of dresses, but because of cold weather, I have to wear a jacket with boots with me. But I can still see lots of people wearing shorts. I'm not sure if they're keen already from the cold weather. But today it's like 13 degrees. It's very cold. I think this is um, the square area here in Vienna. I'm not sure if this area is like a tourist destination as you can see lots of tourists right now i'm standing right in front of the san stevens cathedral and it's it's huge and it really looks amazing it's my first time seeing like this how i wish we can reach on the top of there but we will try to figure out if we can go inside like what we found out since the 16th century this is standing here like i'm still wondering how they were able to build the things like this i'm not sure if the current builders and architectures would be able <laughs> to build something like this nowadays here it looks like the entrance Seems like it's closed here. Like I was just inside and I really did not expect it will be such a beautiful it looks more bigger inside than from the outside but i was there alone when doesn't want to go inside but right now we are here together moving mm -hmm. ah. somewhere else what's our another destination breakfast 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 is our destination so let's find out Currently, we are falling in a line in Joseph Platz, here right in front of the National Library. The line is quite long, but they finally opened the doors, so we hope we can get inside. Gwen is saying it's very nice inside, so let's see. I'm not really like a book person, I'm, I'm not a bookworm, but Gwen is, that's why she is interested to explore the library but what can happen only to us that we were waiting in the wrong line <laughs> it was actually for some horse horse show but we were waiting then yeah, Spanish school riding we were waiting in the wrong line for 15 minutes but right now we are finally in that library Currently we are in that library Like it's like a rule that you should be quiet in the library so I cannot talk that much loud out But surrounded by all these books. 
I feel so stupid. <laughs> I'm not a reader. guys what happened we visited today the national library also that church but before that we were planning to get some breakfast but we did not have enough time so we decided we will get into the underground get to the parking spot where we left our car and we will get on the way home so currently we are on the highway but still very hungry the only option here is McDonald's so I will just take out something we can eat and after that we are heading home to the Czech Republic. We just decided to have our meal, our breakfast here inside a car. Kuba bought McDonald's and some burgers. We have a chicken burger and a burger fries. He's eating. very hungry. I would say the McDonald's here in Vienna is more delicious than here that I tasted from the other McDonald's ever and I love their burger I love the bread Hey guys, we are home finally as I conclude our Vienna adventure I would say that Vienna has left us spellbound from the grandeur of the National Library to the iconic Stephens Cathedrals. I enjoyed my stay in Vienna. It's a different city for me. It's an industrialized yet charming city, which is a contrast to the Czech Republic. I was really happy that I was able to explore another European country, and I'm looking forward in the future to explore more countries. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video as well today. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button Stay tuned for more adventures, happy exploring, and see you again next time. See you, bye!